Now, watch a short video clip before we move on to Qualcomm's presentation. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the VP of Qualcomm Technologies and President of Qualcomm Taiwan SEA and ANC, Mr. S. T. Liu. His topic is enabling intelligent computing everywhere. Let's welcome him. Uh. Chairman Pan, Director General Liu. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, friends from the media, it is my great pleasure to be here to talk about this important topic. First of all, I need to apologize to the organizer because there's no way for me to end in 15 minutes because this is such a big topic, but I will try my best. I am S.T. Liu, the president of Qualcomm Taiwan SEA and ANZ. I have worked in Qualcomm for many years. Qualcomm is a world-leading chip maker in communication and innovation has been the key of our business. We are very lucky to live at a time when so many technological breakthroughs are made. Five years ago, when 5G commercialization began, we have said that the advent of 5G will hail in a lot more breakthroughs. I have to be frank with you. 5G deployment is now already mature across the world. It has brought many possibilities and opportunities for AI applications to expand and scale. Connecting everything together is a very important step. And Taiwan has now completed its 5G deployment. I think one year or 18 months ago, people started to hear about ChatGPT. I'm sure every one of you have heard, this, heard of this world. And so far, more than Um, hundreds of millions of people have used ChatGPT during the past 12 months. We have also seen large language models like Lama, Palmen, other models in Taiwan, in China, and Google's Gemini being announced. Another very important trend that we have observed during the past year is the multimodal LLMs. What I'm talking about here is multi-modality large language models. So text to image, text to video, or text audio to text. So you can have different modes of input and output that's being processed by AI. So there are more and more AI devices. There are more and more AI interfaces. It's not just confined on your phone or PCs or XR devices. There, are, there is a huge variety of devices with which we can interface with AI. The third 
important trend that would like I would like to touch upon here is that with the optimization of LLMs and multimodal models, these models can now be operated in smaller devices because there have been a lot of updates in softwares, in firmwares, also upgrades in hardwares. So looking ahead, we will see more and more AI models on device. So a lot of AI applications will be used on device locally, and this will bring a huge amount of opportunities. When we talk about cloud, there are only a dozen of clouds there. But when we talk about AI on device, there are millions or billions of devices that exist there where we can access AI. Starting from 2007, Qualcomm began our research in AI chips. And then in 2015, we used a scalar and vector structure to optimize our chip for communications. And then you started to see different AI models being introduced into, for example, cell phones, hexagon, tensor processor, or the neural processing unit was also introduced in 2016 or 2017 in our hardware. So we use a hardware means to improve AI processes. So transformer AI, the model was launched. When AI is introduced into smartphones, you could see how it has enhanced, for example, photos and uh, videos taken by cell phones. So starting from that time, 2016 and 2017, we continue to modify our MPUs and increase their functionalities and performances. Now, multimodal AI has been introduced. Concurrent use case LLM is also launched. These require a huge amount of compute power from your silicon. So we need to continue to improve the capacity of our silicon. All of these trends bring a huge scale of economy. A lot of people are asking, how big is the AI market? You are now looking at the number here on the slide. This is not just the TAM. This number also includes, for example, when we use our edge devices to buy different products. This also includes the value coming from the um, creative value generation. So this is a huge market, and I don't think there is an exact figure that can describe how big that market is. But everybody agrees that this is very big. So when everyone expects more from AI, when everyone expects that they will have more demand for AI, then what kind of AI structure should we provide to maximize this potential? I fully agree with Director General Hong. It's impossible to send every AI interf interf uh, inference request to the cloud. So, you know, it, the cost of um, AI inferencing is very different, and um, it could be as high as 10 times. So if we look at this cost difference of traditional query compared to generative AI query, and then times it by the users in the world and the generative AI applications out there in the world, you could see how costly it is to run all the AI inferencing on the cloud. And 
We can also see that with the continued improvement of hardware and software, we can now enable AI inferencing being run on devices. We now need a hybrid AI model. On the slide, you could see, of course, the cloud will continue to play an important role in AI processes. But at the same time, there will be a lot of edge devices in the picture. From a consumer's point of view, we also need to realize that a lot of AI use cases will occur in companies, in factories, in industrial PCs. And Taiwan is a big supplier of industrial PCs. So this is definitely a big business opportunity. So coming back to the devices, all the edge devices, these are also the devices that will play a role in this hybrid AI model. So in the future, it's going to be an edge cloud hybrid um, model that enable AI applications. So I have shown you a figure describing the economic scale of AI, but there are a lot of things that cannot be described by a single figure. For example, we have heard that um, children use ChatGPT for fun, to create something fun. These cannot be defined by numbers. We also see specialized AI systems, specialized expert AI systems being developed. For example, AI for plants, AI for medical use, AI for our home appliances. These are all specialty AI systems. They are also going to be run on device. So all of these are opportunities that we can tap into. On the left-hand side, you could see all the commonly used AI applications, including text-to-image, mathematical reasoning, collaborative robotics, that is human-machine collaboration or communicating with each other in natural languages. And then on the um, horizontal axis, you can see the billions of a parameter, that is the model size. So if you want to have a um, an AI application or model that's good enough for, for text to image, you could see its model size here. So you could see in a lot of the commonly used applications, you could see it can actually be run on PCs and cell phones and, or even in cars already. So here you can see with the technological advancement, we are now confident in saying that in the future, many AI applications will be run on edge devices, on end user devices. The Snapdragon platform created by Qualcomm aims to enable developers and companies to run their AI applications on end user devices. In the past few years, Qualcomm has dedicated ourselves to the research in communication, in platforms enabling better communications. And we started with platforms for cell phones and smartphones. And why is it that it is such an important basis for um, AI PCs. First of all, because when we work on smartphone platforms, we focus on power efficiency, processing efficiency, computing efficiency, and user efficiency. And it needs to be small in size. So the advantages and strengths that we have developed in developing our cell phone platforms have benefited us a lot in the next stage of our development in AI PC. I, I know that um, in um, Dr. Hong's presentation, I didn't see Qualcomm's name being put in one of the slides, and I hope that after hearing my presentation, you will add our name there. 
Exit Lead、um, was indeed featured in Mr. Hong's presentation. Exit Lead is one of our latest announcements. And in the next few weeks, you are going to see more products being announced that incorporate Snapdragon X Elite. Snapdragon X Elite use a、uh, game engine structure, and it has an MPU in it. And we have been working on MPU for many years, so we are very experienced in MPU design. And we also have upgraded CPUs and GPUs in the Snapdragon X Elite. All three of them together will bring you the most powerful AI PC. When you talk about tops or different parameters, we are offering the best performance, and it will bring you low power consumption, very differentiated experience for your user. So this is the future of AIPC, and when we develop these platforms, we need to look at not only the demand of today but also the needs of tomorrow, because we know AI continues to thrive and evolve. In a in Qualcomm, we not only do IC design, we are also developing an ecosystem, because. Only with an ecosystem can we create a new economy. So there are two things that we are doing. First of all, AI Studio. If you are a developer, you can use the air structure that you are most familiar with to work with us in your development. And in many verticals, you can employ your results. The second thing that we are working on is. AI Hub. This is a, the most recent announce, and AI Hub can help expand AI to different developers and SMEs. These AI developers, when they come into our AI Hub, they can pick a model. They can pick an AI model that they prefer if they're. If and you can also bring your own model to AI Hub, and then you pick a target that is a device or a chipset. This is a development for that IoT or that PC or that smartphone, and then pick a runtime so that we will pass and validate for you. Then you can deploy the validated product. So this is an AI Hub for developers. With this AI hub, we will be able to enable and empower developer systems, and to create an ecosystem with more applications, more AIs, and enable SMEs. Finally, a video. When was the last time a PC truly excited you? What about your phone? We're guessing that's a different story. In a world where technology can change everything, doing anything less simply is not enough. With that in mind, we believe the PC as we know it today is not enough. Good news is, that's about to change. Snapdragon is reimagining what a PC can be. Now, if you can think it, you and your PC can create it. Allowing an artist to craft canvases that react to their observers. Turning a young dreamer into a thought leader with a soapbox she never imagined having, empowering a student to learn in a way that's tailored to how she thinks, sparking a lifelong thirst for knowledge, enabling seamless collaboration among remote teams so they can develop groundbreaking solutions, and jumpstarting small businesses, helping turn ideas into booming enterprises. But it doesn't really matter what the new PC can do. It's not enough without you. When your intelligence and creativity meet on-device AI, that's when the magic happens. To realize the promise of personal computing, we're putting these powers in your hands, enabling you to turn dreams into reality. With these capabilities and innovations, Snapdragon is marking the dawn of a new age for the PC. 
This is intelligent computing. It's real. It's personal. This is the power of Snapdragon. Thank you.